Well, hello and welcome back, dear listener. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a, an interesting collection of stories, straight from Reddit, of course, as always. Today's stories are five haunting encounters from Reddit. There's some interesting stories, honestly, just random ones from Paranormal and the Truth Is Here subreddit. And I hope you uh, enjoy them, as always. If you do, please let me know what you think. And also, in the comments, let me know if you've ever had a spiritual encounter or a, a threatening encounter with a spiritual entity, I suppose. Not looking for stories for a video, I'm just curious what you guys have experienced out there. So here are five haunting experiences straight from Reddit. Enjoy. I'm hoping this reaches someone with some possible insight. I keep going deaf in one ear or the other. The fact that it's happening one ear at a time and that it swaps ears makes me think it's not a medical issue. I used to go to the doctors with it and they would just tell me it was wax buildup and to use drops or the syringe things I think it is. It's a dull deafness, but why does it keep happening? I feel like I'm deaf more often than I should be and that it's getting worse. I also get ringing in my ears every now and then, and I've come across opinions that this too is, or can be, a spiritual thing. Now that I've typed it out, I feel like I sound ridiculous, but I know how important sound and frequencies are spiritually and physically. I recently had a short consultation with a subconscious therapist. I asked him about it, and he said that I could be being blocked by my guides from awakening because I'm not ready, that they could be doing it as a protection. I wouldn't even have been prompted to post until last night. Last night, I put on some binary meditation music and fell asleep. I was woken up by what I felt like to be a punch to my left eye. What is going on? It made me jump out of my sleep, obviously. The music was still on, and it sounded scary and unpleasant, so I turned it off. As soon as I woke up, there wasn't pain, so it wasn't like I had actually been punched. I'm fully aware that this sounds stupid, and I'm tempted to not post it, but on the off chance that someone could shed any light... This happened when I was a teen. I'm 26 years old now. This is important mentioning because after all those years, I still feel bad if I think about that day. My parents decided to move, and I went with them to look at some houses. The first two were okay, but not quite what my parents were looking for since they wanted a house with a big backyard. The realtor decided to show them a newly vacant house. The owner was an old lady who had died, and their sons decided to sell the house. My parents aren't superstitious or religious people, neither am I, so we didn't see a problem with it. We arrived at the place, the realtor opened it, we entered the garage, everything was fine. Until I went into the living room. I almost let out a gasp because the atmosphere was so oppressive, like there was invisible eyes everywhere observing and judging me. It felt like there was a weight on my chest I couldn't even breathe properly. I left the room and went to the backyard to catch some air when I saw a small room connected to the back of the house. I entered it out of curiosity and saw it was a small empty room with humidity stains on the wall. Just when I was about to enter the room to see if there was anything interesting, something just figuratively punched my chest with so much sadness and anger that I almost ran screaming. I slammed the door and entered the house again, going to one of the empty bedrooms and sitting on the floor trying to catch my breath. I couldn't stay though, because the feeling of being watched and judged by numerous invisible eyes returned with even more intensity. At this point, I left the house to find my parents talking with a realtor in the front garden. I grabbed my mom by her arm and begged her to go home. After some awkward excuses, my parents finally agreed and we went home. I didn't say a word during the way back, but when I arrived home, I just cried and cried and cried for hours. My parents got concerned and asked me what was happening, and I just kept repeating, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm feeling so sad. I felt like I would never be happy ever again. I still think about that day, and I still get shivers. As I write this, the hair on my arms are standing up. Last thing I heard about the house is that someone else bought it and turned it into a restaurant. Hello Reddit, greetings from Italy. Here I have a story that I want to share, to see if anyone has experienced something similar or to find some explanations. I was maybe 7 or 8 years old, now I'm 22. I was in my bedroom getting ready to sleep 
my mother was in the other room, waiting for my dad to come back home from work. The door of my bedroom was closed. It was summer, I guess, because I remember having the windows open. The room was dark with no light, except for the moonlight and the light coming from our garden. As soon as I lay in bed, I remember I wasn't really tired. I wanted to stay up with my parents. I looked toward the nearest wall, about 30 centimeters away, and I see this clear figure slowly standing and looking at me. I start screaming my lungs out in a couple of seconds, an eternity for me, my parents get scared by the screaming. As soon as they get in, the figure disappears and I'm looking at the wall. I'm really scared and I start crying and I tell everything to my parents who decide to call the nearest priest to bless the house and me. Anyway, I remember this figure really clearly even though I was really, really young. That same night, I described it as an alien with a black coat, like death. And in fact, it was this little figure, maybe one and a half meters tall, dark green or dark gray with a black coat on his body and a hood on his head. The eyes were long, oblique, and black. I could see his face thanks to the light coming from the window. I remember a small mouth and that's it. I'm trying to figure out why I would have to imagine this alien in this way. I've never seen movies with aliens in my life and I've never really been interested. And as I remember, if you ask a kid to draw an alien, he would probably draw the really tall aliens without any clothes. I don't know what to think, and if you need any more information, just ask me and I'll answer if I can. This was last night. I was sleeping and I woke up at 3am, and then saw IT. I really don't know what else to call it, but it was blank, like black, and it was tall. I've seen this thing in my dreams before, but it looked the same in what I would call sleep paralysis. And maybe it was a demon. I may never want to know what it was to keep my sanity on its feet, but I could move and this was in no way a dream. So it was sitting at the edge of my bed and it turned around. Its eyes terrified me. What was in them was everything wrong with the world. I could see its plain purple eyes, yet at the same time there was this illusion. Like I could see suicide, murder, war, religion, Basically everything I could see in its eyes was bad or evil or related to death. When it stood up, it was at least 7.9 feet tall or taller. It had to duck its head into my room. Honestly, it looked like me, but older and more like the me that I keep hidden. The evil part of me. Every time I see it, it says succumb. But I know this wasn't a dream, because I threw a picture in a frame at it and my room went full on black for a moment like I couldn't see anything but those dreadful eyes. It turned around and I know it turned around because it's not hard to tell when someone turns around just by watching their eyes and in my dreams it tells me the future. I know all this sounds crazy but just bear with me and tell me if you have seen this man. But every time I try to take a picture of him it just comes out blurry. My fiance's sister brought a spirit into our house. We're gonna call her E, and my fiance is J. E has been mentioning that there is a spirit in her bedroom, and she's noticed over the last couple weeks. She apparently has been to a medium, and they said it was the spirit of her grandfather, who didn't really like E when he was alive. She claims the spirit follows her everywhere, and last night everyone felt the presence firsthand. We were watching TV on my laptop after having come inside from a smoke, and suddenly there's a crash in the living room closet. Everyone's heads turn that way. E immediately says, that's my spirit, I've asked it in the past to speak to me through my tarot card instead of doing things like that because they scare me. She pulled out her tarot card and starts shuffling them. Three cards fall out immediately, and upon picking them up, they were the father of swords, the daughter of wands, and the hanged man. She felt drawn to doing a past, present, future spread, and what revealed itself gave us chills. When we were out smoking, E was talking about her and Jay's father, who tries his best, but ultimately falls short as a father a lot. He's dealt with a lot, but kinda took it out on his children, and E now doesn't speak to him or really much of the rest of the family because of this pain. She wants him to understand how he hurt her, but he's not receptive to listening. The spread basically told her that some hard thing is going to happen soon with her father if there's ever going to be an end to this hurt. She initially said no to this, like she didn't want to and started to put the cards away, but the Daughter of Wands fell out again, as did the Ace of Swords. This reading told her that she needs to do it and was pushing her further to have this conversation or fight or whatever it's going to be if she wants a resolution. 
It was super weird because I never had anything paranormal happen in any of the houses I've ever lived in. And I know that the house we're in now has no energy whatsoever. I guess E has a lot of unpacking to do coming up. So there you go, dear listeners. Those were some interesting stories from the Paranormal subreddit. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I enjoyed narrating them as I always do. Definitely some interesting tales and some people probably messing with things they shouldn't, but you know, to each their own. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, liking it, that helps a lot. If you also enjoy my narrations, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you would, please leave me a comment. I love to talk to people as they leave comments on my videos. I'm very receptive to feedback and criticisms if they're helpful, and I'm also very open to conversations if you want to have them, so please just go ahead and leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. That all said, there are a number of videos coming up that are uh, rather interesting, quite a few that are different from my norm, so hopefully you guys appreciate that and uh, hopefully you enjoy them. But until then, and until next time, my dear listeners, sleep well. Hey there friends, just as a quick add-on to this, I wanted to let you know of a very quickly coming schedule change starting next week, and I will also put this in the later videos of this week so you guys are not caught off guard. Uh, my schedule will be changing as far as video uploads go. I will be doing collection videos on Wednesday and Friday, and then I will also be doing horror stories, the fiction stories, randomly throughout the week. Basically, I will have two always scheduled videos for Wednesday and Friday, which will be collections like this one. And then there will be just random horror stories, um, just kind of peppered in there. There is a reason for this, and I may post about it on my subreddit, but at this point in time, just know that Thursday and Saturday videos are now going to be Wednesday and Friday. And there won't be a Monday no sleep video, as far as episodes of my channel goes. It'll make more sense once it happens. Just FYI. Okay, thanks, bye.